Folks, I had another subscriber today ask a, a question. It's a good question about changing color and saturation and stuff over time. And wanted to know, could you do that? This is some GoPro video I shot in front of my car up in the mountains sort of in early fall last year. Uh, and I'm going to show you how that's done. I'm going to jump right in right quickly, not waste anybody's time. I'll say File, New. I'm going to do a new sequence. I'm going to do a 1080p sequence because I think I've got some 1080p video here. You can see 1920 by 1080, 48 frames per second. We'll call this uh, Color Over Time. Okay, I'm going to say OK. So this is a 1080p sequence I've started up here. I'm going to drag this piece of video. I cut a little bit of the front of it off here because it's just me looking into the camera to make sure it's running. Okay, so I'm going to take just a small bit of this video. It's just me driving around. I'll pull it down here into the timeline. Okay, it says do I want to change sequence settings. Uh, that'll turn it into 48 frame per second piece of video. Ah, what the heck, I might as well say go ahead and change sequence settings. That's all right. So this is 48. Uh, you're, you're seeing it. Captured with snag it though, which snag it only does 10 frames per second. So my apologies on that, but here we go. So let's say, let's look at this. You can see it's pretty dark right off the at the bat. I, I was doing this early in the morning. The saturation doesn't look so great or anything. So let's just start, use this as a starting point. I'm going to click on this piece of video. I'm going to go over here into the effects and I'm going to type in, uh, I'm going to type in uh, fast for fast color corrector. I'm going to pull a fast color corrector on here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do too. I like to a lot of times do a brightness contrast also. B R I G H. So I went back over here again, typed in brightness. You'll see brightness contrast. I'm going to pull that on there too. You just drag it onto the sequence. I'm going to go up under effects control. And you'll see here right quick that I have uh, both of those. If I close this up, this is the fast color corrector. Here's the brightness contrast. I'll spin this back down. And what I'm going to do, uh, this, this color wheel can be made a little smaller if you just drag this in like that this little edge and it makes it easier to do let's say i want to change the uh the saturation i'm going to leave it at a i'm going to put a first of all i'm going to put a keyframe here just you do that just by hitting that toggle animation thing it's a little stopwatch right and any of these if you open them up you've got a stopwatch you'll see there's ways you tip ways that you can click on these and what this does is shows you how much of the effect you're applying over time let's say i want to go about i don't know three seconds into it and not change anything okay so I'm going to put a keyframe here. All that, all that does, this little, from here to here, it's telling it to do nothing, right? All, about, all adding a keyframe does here is this is just to save a state, a, a state of what the video was in at that point over that period of time. Now let's say that at this point, I want to start slightly up in the brightness contrast and the, uh, the saturation. First of all, just for the heck of it, I'm probably going to go back to the very beginning of this again since I didn't do anything with brightness and contrast. I'm going to pan down to my brightness contrast here. I'm going to spin that down so I can see it. And I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a keyframe in for brightness and contrast right at the beginning just to establish a baseline, a point where I start, right? Now I'm going to go back up here to this other point that I've gotten to right there in the middle of that. And I'm going to put a uh, keyframe in for brightness contrast. Once again, I'm just telling it that over time to do nothing for this period of time between these two dots for this first three seconds. Now, I'm going to go forward a little bit. Let's say I go up forward to about five seconds. I want this to turn into just magical, beautiful wonderland of, go of glory. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of spin down my brightness and my contrast. Here, this makes it easier for me to see how to do this. I don't, know that, I don't know if I need to do either one of those, my bad folks. I can just pull my brightness up a little bit here at this point. Now, it starts to get washed out looking. And you get about 30%. I always like to go put contrast back in. That looks kind of nice. And I think it needs some saturation. Let's just let's just make this crazy saturated here just to show the effect of what's going to happen. Let's go up to, oh, there you go. Boy, now it looks like an autumn wonderland, doesn't it? Now what's going to happen is you see when I changed anything, it puts another keyframe in. There's the other keyframe. So what's happened is over time, I start with this. Let's see, let's see if it'll play. This will be a little bit herky-jerky. And now all of a sudden it's going to turn in just a minute here. It's going to turn into a beautiful, bright, awesome landscape there, right? Okay, let's say that at this point, I wish you could see this rendered out just right. I know that this Tech Smith snag it just doesn't do, do justice to it. But let's say at this point, then I want to go, I'm, I'm going to put another keyframe in here for brightness and contrast. And let's say that at this point, I'm going to go back to, I don't know, 10%. And I'm going to do my contrast at 10%, maybe two. And... Um, Let's go over here to this saturation. Let's say we want to go, uh, well, it's okay from right there. What I've done now, uh-oh, well, you know what I've just done? 
let me undo, edit, undo, and edit, undo again. Did I do redo? Undo. <laughs> My bad. Okay. Uh, uh, I put a keyframe in, keyframe in there. Let's put a keyframe in up here on the saturation as well. Uh, let's put a new keyframe in right here. Now, what I want to do is desaturate this. I'm going to go here. I'm going to change the brightness and contrast. Now, at this point, uh, maybe down to 10 again. I'm just showing you how you change some things. That just changed a lot of the contrast. Now, let's say you want to go all the way to black and white, right? Let's take your saturation down to zero. So now watch what happens as we drag across. And we, I'll just, once again, we've gone to our beautiful, almost like Technicolor. Ah, oh, this darn thing doesn't want to play. I have to just drag it. It's because it does not want to render out, folks. But you can see over time what happens. We get here and we hit these uh, keyframes. You're not seeing the keyframe here. Well, you are for saturation. Because here's full saturation. Here's zero saturation. So you see that over time, we go back into black and white. And this is just how anybody color grades. And, you know, just any movie you see done, they color grade all the, all the time. And the key is to do it with keyframes in your effects control. We see an auto save there. And you just monkey around with your settings, whatever you want. You know, maybe you want this to be a day for night or something here. You could put another keyframe in here. Uh, let's say we want at this point... Perhaps we'll do a saturation key. Well, let's just do this. Uh, let's let's, yeah, let, let's leave our, our saturation basically there. It's not going to hurt anything. Let's go in here to brightness and contrast. And at this point, maybe we want to do it, make it look like night night time, right? I'll, I'll lower our contrast even more, maybe, and we'll take this brightness down. So now it's almost like we're moving around in the evening, right? Taking the contrast down, and everything. This might be like what you'd see out in the, as the sun goes down at night. So now we go from this to the black and white to like a day for night kind of shot. And, you know, you never can tell. You might want to put a little bit more saturation in here just to, uh, just to give it the effect that, you know, there is some reality to it. Now there's just a hair dab of color in that. There you go, folks. That's how you change... Uh, you know, it's a little disjointed how I've done this, but that gives you the gist of it. It's all uh, you, what you do. You, got, you add your keyframes. It will add keyframes as you make adjustments. But if you have periods where you don't want anything to do, then you just add it. Like, say you want to stay the same from here to here, then you add your own keyframe without doing an adjustment here. Folks, that's it. Hopefully that's been fairly clear and concise. Peace to all. Subscribe if you like the channel. Thanks.